child marriage uh, occurs easily um, when children don't have identity documents which prove their their age, for example. So in countries where child marriage is f legally prohibited, uh, it's uh, the fact that a, a, an identity document is falsified to, to, to you know, to sort of justify uh, this marriage uh, is one thing. But very often, they, these these children don't who get who are forced to get married. They they don't even have documentation. They get married. They're being sexually abused. They're being rejected, and they can't return to their families because there's shame, there's stigma. So it it starts with the uh, of a, with a life which is an exploitative uh, situation. And then there's no, no way, no way to, 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 to address it and to recover because the family doesn't have help. And they have lost their family. They have lost what was the most precious thing in their lives, which is their own family and which identifies them. Mm. So children who are being sexually exploited uh, are very much alone. Um, and the first thing uh, is to, to be identified in the sense that the authorities must discover or somebody must discover that such a child is being exploited and then of course there should be it should be criminalized it there should be criminal prosecution that's one thing accountability but the other thing is redress and redress is uh, giving children uh, back the right to which they are entitled which is the right to identity mm -hmm.